Happy Valentine's Day, Pisces. This is your love reading for February 2019 already. Look, I got my little Valentine's Day shirt on, pink and sparkles, because that's the vibe we're going to try to put out there. So this is for um, Pisces. We're going to do singles, couples, and for those of you who are kind of in between. Maybe it's an on-again, off-again relationship. Maybe it's not Facebook official. Maybe you're with somebody who's actually married to somebody else. Um, so I'm going to try to put in the description box where each part of the video will start, so you have quick reference and can jump right to it. And um, But we're gonna start with singles, then couples, and then in between at the end. If you are an in-betweener, you might wanna watch the whole video, just because certain aspects of the singleness and the coupledness um, will resonate for you. So here we go. In February for single Pisces, whoa. There's like, okay, so you just feel like things aren't going anywhere. <laughs> But the thing is, is that it's like you're not manifesting anything. So you might be like, oh, I want a partner, right? But there's some, you're not really focused on what it is that you want, how you want to feel with them. So people fuck up the law of attraction a lot of the time by saying, oh, well, this is what I want them to look like. This is what I want their job to be. This is, you know, where I want them to live, what kind of a family I want them to come from, how much money I want them to make. No, it doesn't work like that. You... The law of attraction is obedient to feelings, okay? So if you're feeling like, oh, I'm never going to meet that person, mm, that's going to be a reality. If you're focused on how you want to feel with a future partner, the right person is going to show up in the right time in the right way to help you to feel that way, where you can feel that way together. I want to feel joy. I want to feel excitement. I want to feel comfort. I want to feel stability. And then um, being, you know, really excited for those things to come into your life and just trusting the universe will bring them to you is what brings it to you. But you guys are not manifesting anything. So if you think you're manifesting something, you're not. Um, and this is how you change it. Okay. So that's what they just say straight out the gate. But what I wanted to look at is um, a little bit more systematic. <laughs> I wanted to see, you know, uh, recent history and moving forward, what is going to help us um, find this person that we're looking for. And maybe you're okay being single, but essentially what they say is that a lot of you just haven't had this um, sort of feeling, you know, of joy and love and contentment. You've been feeling a little bit empty you know, while waiting for that person to show up, or maybe you were dating other people and you just didn't like really catch feelings for them, which is unusual for a Pisces, because Pisces, you might um, change your mind and not be in the, into them at all, but Pisces are very inclined to like kind of go headfirst into something, and then they might go, mm, not for me, and go headfirst into something else, and that's just your nature, um, and that's okay, nothing wrong with that, because it shows people that you're interested in them, but they're like historically, you know, in the recent past, it might just be kind of feeling that way. Um, but what they're saying for February, this is a good time to really speak about what it is that you want in a relationship, whether you're just talking to your best friend, whether you're speaking to God, whether you are making a vision board, whether you are intentionally talking to strangers on the subway, or um, maybe you make a dating profile, okay? Whatever that is, this is the month where you want to be doing that. They say that if um, that some of you don't have the confidence to do that right now, or the enthusiasm, the fire, and the excitement, but that's why I'm saying, what is making you feel that way? Why? What is your belief system that's inhibiting you? What makes you feel like maybe it's not worth your effort or your time? Um, what makes you feel like maybe you're unlovable? Because these are all negative self-talk things that are pushing or blocking away um, that potential forever partner that you're watching or wanting if you're watching this video in the first place, right? And so that's what they said when they started with that first card saying, you're not really manifesting anything. And so this is how we change it, is to feel confident and excited that the right person is going to come to us in the right time in the right way. So they're saying the excitement aspect here is the key. Um, going out and showing love without fear. So maybe some of you are like, okay, well, the last time that I went out and I was like flirty with somebody, I got rejected. Okay, well, that's actually a good thing. Let's reframe this because that person then wasn't for you. And you could have wasted a lot of time on that person thinking that maybe someday they're going to change and they're going to be for you. But no. So, you know, rejection is actually a good thing. It doesn't feel good, but it's a good thing because what it tells us is this isn't the person for me. Because if it was, they'd be into it, right? So we can just let that go and move on. They're saying February is a month to be excited, to go out and say, I'm looking for love. I'm super romantic. This is what I want. Um, but not being attached 
to what their reaction or response is. The right person is going to respond to this in the way that you desire them to. Um, so don't get focused on, you know, oh, this is my crush and I'm going to do everything that I can to kind of create this environment in which they like notice that I would be a really good partner for them. No, no. It, they would notice either way, even if you were super lazy about it. So you're just going to put these messages out there. And you're just going to say, hey, I'm a Pisces and I'm single and I want to find my person and the right person will find you. It seriously is going to be that easy. That's all you have to do. Um, if the right person's meant to show up for you this month, they will. Um, but don't be afraid of that rejection or anything like that. Don't take it to heart because it's not about you. It's just not the right person. Okay? So... Um, how can we kind of move through this energy? What could we be doing? And they're saying, again, with that fiery, passionate energy, the excitement, the enthusiasm um, that maybe a lot of you are lacking right now. You don't have the confidence to really go out there and try. So they're saying raising yourself to your full height, okay? Joining in on the dance. Like maybe you're out somewhere and um, the dance floor is a little empty, but there's a cutie out there and you're like, oh, well, they'll think I'm like weird because I'm a white person I only know how to dance like this <laughs> you know they'll make fun of me whatever your fear is um it doesn't have to be about literal dancing this is about figurative but this is just a good example literal dancing is you go out there and you make a fool of yourself anyway and you have fun doing it because you know what the right person for you is going to notice that and think it's adorable and they're going to get up in there with you and then you know you ride off into the sunset so for February, um, how many of you, or what is, will the majority of Pisces, if they follow this guidance, find their true match this month, this February? And they're saying, well, wait. So, wait, this is not the question to ask. What do they need to know? Okay, so some of you are slowly getting over somebody from the past, and this is why <laughs> you're not finding that enthusiasm to go out, and they say it's okay that it takes time to move forward from this pain, from this person, from this relationship or disappointment of the past. As long as it takes, that's fine as long as you're doing it, okay? Now, for those that have been single and are completely over stuff from the past, if they follow this guidance, you know, what is the likelihood that they will find their partner. And they say for some of you, it's pretty likely. For others of you, it's just a good way to shift your energy so that a year from now you'll be in that relationship that you've always wanted. So I guess what they're saying is, depending on how many Pisces watch this, it's going to be variant depending on your own personal energy, circumstance, and then what your potential future partner is doing at the same time. Because remember, this is regarding the energy of two people. You might be doing everything right, waiting for this right person to show up in your life, but they haven't learned the lessons that they need to be the right partner for you yet, which is why it's taking longer in some cases. The only way to really know about your personal stuff is to do personal reading. So moving on to couples. What's the vibe for you guys? Okay, so coupled Pisces. Um, what I really like about your relationship is in the recent past, it's like everything that you need to know about the relationship, about your partner, about your intentions and wants and desires and theirs, it's out on the table, you know. The thing is though, that maybe um, your partner might be telling you, hey, I want you to, to make some decisions based on this, 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 and you're like, mm, I'm not ready to do that. I don't want to do that. Um, maybe you're undecided about if this relationship is something you want to continue in. Maybe you're undecided about um, whether to change the relationship and make it an open relationship. I mean, there are some real serious things here that your partner is waiting on you to decide about and you're just undecided. And um, that's okay because what I see here is it's like moving forward, you're just a little bit tired in this relationship. And it might not have much to do with the relationship itself. You might just be tired and exhausted from, you know, life generally. But the work that relationships take and require is um, starting to kind of feel like a burden for you. So how do we re remove that sort of burdensome energy so that it can be something fun that you enjoy and they say you already know. And so for a lot of you, this is something um, very specific to your own energy that you already intuitively know. So what is the guidance step here? 
And they say, um, the thing that you seek is at your feet and it always has been. <laughs> hmm. What you want is right in front of you. It really is. And you just are maybe not seeing that so much as you used to have the ability to see that. So is there something else that Pisces couples need to know about their relationship for February? And they're saying it's time to take action. It really is. That decision that you've been waiting to make, you have to make it. Um, so let's say I want you all to stop and think about what is the decision that you know that you need to make about your relationship. Is it staying? Is it going? Is it taking a trip? Not taking a trip? It's going to be different for, for each of you. But um, let's say that you decide, I want you to frame this question as a yes or a no. Okay. What's the outcome if you decided yes? And if you decided no. Okay, if you decide yes, things are wrapped up with a pretty, pretty little bow. They are complete. They are finished. Um, like the decision is made and that is good. But the thing is, is that that decision is somewhat painful. It doesn't kill you, but it is somewhat painful. Does that mean you shouldn't make it though? They say only if it's not unfair. Or only if it's unfair. So... If the, rela if the decision that you make that you know will be somewhat painful to you or your partner, but it um, puts an end or a stop to a discussion or the relationship even or whatever it is, um, if that is something fair to do, it's okay because this is a learning moment. It's a moment of growth. It's, you know, but if it seems unfair, um, then I would say don't do it because it's unnecessary pain and suffering for yourself. Okay? Now... Um, should you have chosen the other option? Uh, what they say here is you won't really be feeling like this is 100% what you want to do either and you're going to feel like you have to somewhat defend yourself in that decision. Um, but the thing is, is that other people care about you and they want to be around you and support you. You just have to allow them to be. Um, the thing is, is that you've got this sort of energy right now where you want to be um, sort of like you don't want anybody else's help. You want to do things on your own. You don't want to hear their opinions. But this is something that you do want to communicate about and listen to the advice and guidance of other people because there's something really important there for you, okay? Now, uh, moving on to those Pisces who are somewhere in between. You are on again, off again, or, you know, whatever. Here we go. Okay, so... I feel like there were some things that were not communicated that needed to be historically, but now all of that is happening and your sex life might kind of go whoop. It might be much more exciting, things to look forward to, a lot more fun. You might be feeling more horny. Um, but moving forward, this energy is going to be somewhat imbalanced, whereas one of you is giving more to the, um, the other person than the other, and that might not be awesome. So going into March, is this a relationship that you should keep as is or not? And they say unlikely. Something's going to have to change. Now, what is the action word, the thing we want to focus on um, in considering how we're going to change this? And they're saying to shield your energy, to not let the other person's feelings, emotions, actions really get at you because what they do and how they feel is not your it's not about you. It's about them. If somebody treats you bad, it's not because you deserve it. It's because they're a fucking asshole. That's their energy. you got to shield that. So um, if somebody says, you made me feel sad. No, you decided to feel sad based on my behavior, <laughs> right? So anyway, so far and no farther, make your intentions clear. So you want to be really, really clear, putting up your shield in this relationship, um, and establishing boundaries for what it will look like moving forward if it's going to move forward at all, okay? So throughout, I, I feel like throughout like now till the 27th at latest, for a lot of you, this energy will stop around the 22nd. You're, this is when you're going to want to be like all up in that super um, fiery, sexy, passionate kind of energy with them and then reevaluate the 22nd. 25th, the 27th. Those are your key days. Okay? I love you so much. I can't wait to see you in March. Thanks so much for watching this video and getting all the way to the end of it. I really appreciate your support. If you are interested in other videos, 
click here. If you are interested in subscribing, go ahead and click here. Hit that notification bell so that you get alerted to when new videos come out and also when I do surprise live streams. And then if you're interested in winning a free 20 minute video uh, reading personally every month, go ahead and click right here. Mwah!